There are an endless amount of fusions for Pokemon Infinite Fusion, and this includes a lot of spooky ones as well. So in light of Halloween coming up, I played through the game using only spooky fusions. Now, although I didn't use every single one, I thought it was pretty cool to show the plethora of scary and creepy fusions this game has to offer. And there are a lot that I didn't show in this video, so let me know any that you found down below. All the trainers in this game are randomized as well as gyms, and I didn't catch any of these Pokemon. I got them all using debug mode, so I could just fuse them off the bat, as this is more of a fun playthrough, not a serious one. Also, I wouldn't be able to get all these spooky fusions otherwise. If you do want to do this and don't want to cheat, you could just catch them all in another save file and just create a new game plus with all of them in your box, and they would just appear in your new save file. The only problem with that is that they won't be evolved, which is why I just used debug mode, so we could start seeing our scary boys right away. So let's get our spooky on, shall we? Now, majority of scary Pokemon are ghost types, but I did manage to find a couple of Pokemon that have no ghost affiliation whatsoever, such as Spinarak, who I used in a previous run. This little guy is frightening. I'm not really scared of spiders, but if they were this big, I would be. So I don't know, it kind of creeps me out. Now normally a Bibiro wouldn't be so scary, but let a coffin possess it and I'm terrified. I feel like it's gonna eat me. It's got that crazy look in its eyes too. Now we all know Lantern is based off an anglerfish and those things creep me out ever since uh, Finding Nemo. So this was no surprise, but man, that is creepy and awesome at the same time. But how about just plain Gengar and Gengar? Well, it creates a very sick fusion. Almost demonous. And this goes for Haunter and Ghastly as well, if you're wondering. And might as well fuse Porygon Z with Rotom, as Rotom came out of that TV in Gen 4. I like this one, it's clever. Now, ghost types are prime time for creepy and spooky fusions, but it doesn't just have to be them, as we saw with Spinarak and Lantern. In fact, a bunch of Mr. Mime fusions are extremely creepy. Double Mr. Mime freaks me out, and I'm not talking about this one. I'm not afraid of clowns, but Ronald McDonald has always freaked me out. It's probably the red afro. My wife and Garchomp aren't super scary or anything, but this looks like it has blood in its mouth. And for some reason, it reminds me of the Demogorgons from Stranger Things. Why the hell is the first bug catcher a triple battle? Oh, I bet he's shaking in his boots with these three out on the field. Imagine Big Regus staring at you from afar in a foggy forest. You could run, but he'd get you. Oh, how fitting. Brock is a ghost type gym leader. Let's see who has the spookier fusion. Okay, Brock, I see you. Not too shabby, but I think Big Regus still takes the cake. Or in this case, your life. Well, that was a letdown. Machomp, get in here. Dinner is ready. I think I'll just fuse a couple of Pokemon after every gym. So this time I decided to fuse Gengar and Kabutops, as it makes Kabutops look a little bit more threatening. Now one of the creepiest ones I found was Pinsir. It doesn't have any ghost vibes. It just creeps me the hell out. Like I feel like he's gonna ask me if I wanna play with him. I don't, sir. He's definitely going on the team right now. And if you thought that was scary, he has more variants. But I think the one in my party scares me the most. Spiritomb has a lot of good ones, such as this one with Mimikyu. It's not really scary, but it's spooky. And I love that the spirit is now black. Mimikyu also fuses well with Lopunny, which makes it a doll. She looks like she's been thrown in the attic for some time there. Would you believe me if I said Tentacruel has some creepy fusions? I don't know why, but if you fuse with Seeking, this happens. That looks seriously poisonous. Better keep that thing in a Pokeball. Now yes, Mawile and Tangrowth isn't scary, or is it? Like what type of parasitic crap happened here? I love the little eye peeking through the vines. Just to let you know she's always watching. Grass and Fairy is a neat typing as well. This is hilarious. Weedle, the Sorcerer Supreme. Geodude screamed out in pain. Bro, you're a rock. You have zero nerves. Maybe this fusion can explain that. That does look like it hurts. Come on guys, there's an easier way to handle this other than fighting. I could just throw out Lantern and they'd probably all go running. Clearly Blue's Meowth isn't scared of Lantern at all. Oh, what a shame. I didn't want to have to do this. Oh, come on. That was scary, Blue. Aww. Woo, turtle. It's adorable. Oh god, that's one sharp tooth. Bill, I'll, I'll give you credit. If I saw you fused with a Rhydon, I'd probably scream. And I guess if I saw Misty, I'd probably scream too. That's totally something Ash would say. Misty this time around is a poison type gym leader, and hopefully Mr. Sir can actually live this time. And it looks like Mr. Sir was a great lead, knocking out Mudcruel and Goal Slash, which is adorable by the way. Mr. Mime and Ditto is probably the least creepiest out of Mr. Mime fusions, but I mean, imagine if this thing was in a dark room with you, peeking from the closet. That would instantly make him 10 times more scary. Like, why are you smiling at me like that, bro? Houndoom and Miss Mages has a pretty unique fusion. No, not that one, this one. I'm sure it's a reference to something, but why would Houndoom and Miss Mages make this? Someone tell me. Anyways, I really like it. Let me know which spooky fusion is your favorite. 
Another Pokemon who is in a ghost type that makes creepy fusions is Parasect, as it basically takes over its hosts and turns them into zombies. Although in this case, it looks like Bonette took over Parasect. Honestly, I kind of need this in the main game. One of the ones I really like is this Dusclops and Dwosion fusion. I like that some of the fluid is kind of leaking out. Also, what is that fluid? Is that what's in Dwosion? Because if it is, th that's kind of gross. Double Mimikyu creates Gigantamax Mimikyu, but we get it. You're upset about the Pikachu thing, but show me something that just screams Mimikyu. Okay, this one is pretty cool. Huh, I guess the blue fight on the SSN is now a triple battle as well. That's a nice touch. Unless it's like that because of the insane randomization. The Lightning American is a bug type master? Makes sense. Okay, wait, hold on. Lieutenant Surge is a triple battle too? This has got to be because of the randomizer. Bro, I can't even see Mimikyu with Porygrigus's fat sprite in the way. It's not all about you, bro. You do look like a narcissist. This fight wasn't hard at all, considering Lieutenant Surge's Pokemon were pathetic. However, they did gang up on Houngius for no reason. They must be jealous of that custom sprite. But yeah, what a letdown of a battle. All right, another gym down means another couple of fusions. Chandelure and Gengar create one of my favorites. He's got that psycho look in his left eye. It's even called the Shadow Luring Pokemon, which is just great. Now, I still have more creepy pincer fusions. Pinizard looks like something out of Terraria that I would probably lose to like 10 million times. Houndoom and Spiritomb create this evil hound dog, and I especially love the skeleton tail and how it's on fire. I think the green eyes work too. You wouldn't think Waylord has a spooky fusion, but it does. It's not scary, it's more like a goofy ghost. Ah yes, Lavender Town. The spookiest town in all of Pokemon. And the rain is a nice touch. My Pokemon are gonna love it here for the split second that we stay in this town. Okay, now blue is a double battle. What is going on? Blue is actually kind of putting up a fight this time, but everything changed when Genlord came out. I'm sure Genlord would eat every one of Blue's Pokemon in one single gulp, and he'd feel no remorse doing it. He'd do it as a game. Hey, leave that old man alone. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Huh, <laughs> boo. Run! You know, normally I'd be scared to go in a sewer, but I have six things to be more scared of in my pocket. Sure, they're my Pokemon, but it doesn't mean they don't freak me out. Oh god, that might as well be added to the spooky list as well. And I'm not talking about Grimer and Raticate. I'm talking about the abomination next to Houngius. Giovanni might act all hard, but I bet he's terrified of ghosts. Or maybe not. He does have a Mimikyu fusion. And that Mimikyu fusion one-shot Houngius with a play rock. Impressive, Giovanni. But that was my favorite Pokemon. So now you get tan while on the field. I bet he's shaking in his boots. Don't look at her in the eye. I heard the last guy that did that died. Oh, way to be different, Erica. Okay, Erica is not a triple battle, thankfully but it looks like she's going to be as pathetic as her normal self. Which is great, as Houngius gets access to Mystical Fire from Miss Mages, and Nasty Plot from Houndoom. A perfect combo for a perfect fusion. So after taking one Thunder Punch and setting up, everything on her team got one shot. And thank Arceus too. This could pass as a creepy fusion. With our fourth gym badge down, I fused three more Pokemon, starting with Tentacruel and Metang. Man, that is something else. This is what I'd imagine is living down in the Mariana Trench. I hope we never discover it. I'm gonna put that on the team in place of Tangra. The Kafagrigus ones never disappoint. I didn't even notice those eyes at first, always with that sinister laugh. And finally, Kafagrigus with Agron. Oh yeah, that's going on the team. I don't even know what's going on here, but I just love it. Up next was Koga, and he was a fairy type master. This is the weirdest combo of Pokemon I have ever seen. What seems like a literal god on the right, and then this. Dark Four is very cool though. Egagrius and Metcruel are a power duo for this gym, as they're both super strong. Koga has two legendaries. That's literally just Latios with Sylveon's face. It looks like this random trainer likes creepy Pokemon as well. Now, that's kind of disgusting. I don't know why, but I kind of like how unique this Nose Pass and Wilmer fusion is. I almost forgot to fuse some more spooky Pokemon. Jesus Christ. Imagine if this was the muck that was trying to eat Ash instead. One of my favorites, which I've used before, is Mimeode. It's simple, but frightening. It doesn't look like it would chase you by rolling though. I think it would just hop towards you. Nothing too special with Duskull and Houndoom, but I like it. Sometimes less is more. Slacking and Houndoom aren't really scary, but I couldn't help to show them off. This is top tier stuff. Kafagrigus and Slacking are super dope as they both make this possessed bed. But are those supposed to be his boobs? Yo, this is the best fusion I've ever seen. Blue is finally on to something. Another fight with Giovanni rises, and these two aren't too crazy, but I kind of like them. I feel like Heracross and Kingler can actually be a Pokemon, and Diglett and Arceus actually look decent with that rock armor. Now, for some reason, Giovanni had it out for Blue's Pokemon, which, I mean, great for us. And it looks like Giovanni has a thing for Diglett's. He's normally a ground type leader, so I guess it kind of makes sense. The funny thing is, the little one actually hit a fissure KOing Slagrigus. That little guy knows how to hit a shot. Blue's fusions aren't really helping either, but luckily Houngius doesn't need any help with how hard she hits. 
With Giovanni defeated, we can head to Sabrina's gym, who actually happens to be her polar opposite today. Sabrina, you're not scary. I actually led Metcruel for this battle, as I'm looking to get rid of it after this, due to it not being able to evolve into Metagross. And well, keep its creepiness. Unfortunately, she was only able to knock out one of Sabrina's Pokemon, but that just shows how weak she's gotten. From there, Mimikyu took care of that, but she had the perfect switch. Hitmonchan, who's immune to Shadow Claw. Luckily, Slagrigus is my perfect switch, as we can tank attacks and bulk up plus slack off, to which we sweep immediately after. Seriously, put your tits away. Finally, some more Halloweenish fusions. I've used Duvoir before in my Duskull run, but it's too good not to show. Apparently, it's a Clash of Clans reference, which is neat. Okay, this is 100% my favorite fusion in this run, and I know I keep saying that, but there's no doubt about it. And it's way too good to not be a reference. Chandadoom is definitely on the team. I mean, Mr. Bell here definitely always creeped me out as a kid. Pinsir and Ariados is basically just Mr. Mime and Pinsir, but you know what? I think this freaks me out more. Imagine those big beady eyes in front of you. Wow. This is super clever for Banette and Spiritomb. Spiritomb locked inside Banette's zipper. I love this game. Now, if you guys want to see a real creepy one, try Mr. Mime and Parasect. I'm kind of grossed out more than anything. Like, I feel like Mr. Sec needs to be shot multiple times to make sure it's dead. I know it's gruesome, but it's the way it makes me feel. I didn't think Pinsir and Milotic would be creepy, but those teeth on Pinsir can just make anything make me want to crush it with my foot. And our last one, since I need to replace Metacruel. Might as well be another Tentacruel fusion. Yep, that is definitely staying in the Pokemon. Ball. Okay, okay, last one, I promise. I fused this one in another video as well, and it was indeed creepy. Jesus, man, that thing would straight up rip anybody's head clean off. Blue's not gonna be messing with me anymore. I love how Mawile and Machoke's fuse name is just Machoke. I think I mentioned that in my other video. This thing would definitely skip the choking part and go straight for the kill. With this steel and fighting type, I got rid of Aggron as that was another ghost type. So now the team is looking much better. This is the perfect time to lead Mr. Cruel. I know I said you were going to stay in your Pokeball, but the team needs you. Jeez, Mr. Cruel, more like Mr. Frail. Well, so much for that. But I have no doubt in my mind, Machoke is going to eat everything in sight. I mean, Tyron P looks like he's a perfect fit in that mouth. All right, this is going south really quick. The two Pokemon that are great against Blaine just didn't do anything. To be fair, they're both very frail, but come on. It's funny how the most intimidating Pokemon are the most frail. And then you have Houngius, who doesn't look like it would hurt a fly. But even then, she couldn't live to Blaine's wrath. Looks like I'm gonna need an ER for all the rocks he's chucking at me. Well, Slagrigus, it's good that we can always fall back on you. No, literally, you're a bed. In a very comfortable bed that I can fall back and sleep on. What is wrong with these artists and Mr. Mime? Like, I'm actually concerned. This one isn't really spooky, but I guess it might be if you're afraid of clowns. Okay, now that is spooky. This is actually Spiritomb and Dust Noir, but I wouldn't have guessed Spiritomb. This thing is definitely coming into your dreams while you sleep. And to finish up those Spiritomb fusions, we have Spiritomb and Mawile. Nice, cute little spookiness. This one just wants to be someone's friend, and I'm all here for it. Marowak and Rapidash make this dead horse, which is interesting because now it looks like a fire ghost type, but of course it is part ground. All right, Mr. Cruel, back in the PC you go. You didn't prove yourself in the last fight. With that, we can add Starmie and Houndoom to the team. A dark and psychic type. Oh yeah, the perfect decor for your living room. It just screams make yourself at home. I love trap pitch infusions with Ghastly. You got this spooky little guy and his reverse, which I like more. Although they're both kind of the same thing. But I like how Ghastly's gas is just sand. And I think the orange works a little better. Holy crap, there's a white version. That looks even scarier. Hopefully Machoke can scare Giovanni shitless. Now the good news is Machoke has no guard, so Stone Edge won't miss, and it would have KO'd Articuno if it wasn't for that rock berry. Also, I have no idea how Machoke is outspeeding. He's my slowest Pokemon. Must be the fact that he's literally flying. Machoke did end up dying, but Articuno was out of the fight, and Egregious has Rock Slide. This would be great had a Flamethrower not burn him to a crisp. At the very least, Houndgeus does have Power Gems, so two of those and Moltres is also down. As always, Zapdos is the last one standing, probably because it's not quad weak to Rock, but yeah. Houndmi almost took the spotlight there, but her Psychic just wasn't doing enough to outdamage Zapdos, so Mimikyu took all of the credit. I mean, Mimikyu has been robbed his whole life, so I think it's okay to give him all the credit here. Giovanni is a normal type? trainer? What the hell is that? Well, at least it's another battle Machoke could maybe do something in. Milgia? Well, thank Arceus it's not one of those weird mill tank fusions. I kind of like it though, I don't know why. Well, so much for Machoke surviving. Never thought I'd say this, but there are a lot of tits on the field right now. Luckily, Slagrigus is a tank and can just eat all of Milgia's attacks, which let us set up pretty safely. Until that crit, that is. I may have gotten a little too careless. Chandidoom can come in and get some action, but the problem is punishment did half. Well, it would be a problem. 
had Chandadoom not gotten a lucky burn with the flamethrower. What a champ. And this allowed us to live another one and fire back literally with a flamethrower for the KO. Good stuff, buddy. Ditger? Yo, Giovanni actually caught some legendaries this time. And we ended up getting saved again with a big origin pulse miss. And Chandadoom is a speed demon, so two energy balls and she came out on top. Well, three energy balls due to the full resource, but still. <laughs> Pathetic. Ursa King was a tank, but I was just trolling with a nasty plot and Giovanni used rest. So now two energy balls were enough from full. You played yourself. Now, before we head into the Indigo Plateau, we got a couple more fusions to finish off my spooky list. Some of the best fusions come from first stage Pokemon, and that's in general, not just spooky ones. That's the case here with Bonette and Ralts. It's so cute, and I love the hood it has on. The same can be set with Bonette and Ghastly. He looks like being mischievous is just his regular 9 to 5. Psyduck looks like he just woke up from his sleep paralysis demon, and Cyndaquil and Golur kind of make me sad. He looks so scared. Now our last couple here are some heaters. Check out Weezing and Gengar. Weegar is definitely just killing you with his scent. The face is just for scare factor. This is Chandelure and Armaldo, and I gotta say the colorful flames with the black really bring this fusion together. It also has flames coming out of its mouth. How much more dope can it get? I love that Miss Magus and Haxorus create this dragon mage. Kind of plain on the top, but I do love that wand with the flame. Up next, we got Mimikyu and Haxorus, which was more frightening than anything else. He would shred you up into multiple pieces without a second thought. And our last fusion of the video is going to be another Houndoom one. Who would have thought Houndoom would have so many great spooky fusions. Oh my god, what a way to end it off. That's amazing. Is it a reference? Maybe I just like horns and skulls too much. I'd hang this on my door for Halloween. Now I've been using Houndoom fusions for a good chunk of the video, so I think I'm actually going to put Chandeldo on the team. Wait, what? Chandeldo? Chandildo? Oh god, that sounds wrong. Let's just call you Chandler. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one, so why not? I do kind of have to give up Machoke since it's pretty frail. Honestly though, Hound Geass needs a break, so I guess we can add Hound Slash to the team. Not too happy about all the ghost types on the team. Oh hey, a Minecraft sheep. This is my final team before taking on the Elite Four, and I gotta say, they're looking as spooky as ever. We're gonna beat this, no problem. Lorelai is up first as always, and this time she's a flying type master. Her fusions were lackluster to say the least, the first couple were not hard at all. I mean just look at Venofree, that's literally just Butterfree. And to make matters worse, the fusion immediately after, well, it's not even a fusion. Steecore was pretty cool, but at that point it was just way too late. And it looks like Bruno is following in Lorelai's footsteps. What the fuck? I easily set up on this thing and swept, and I was really hoping this wasn't gonna happen, but just look. Bruno has done a complete 180 on his personality with these normal types. They're all first stagers. Now Agatha was a little better being a water type master, but Doodle? Are, are we serious right now? What is going on? Finally, something other than a first stager. And it's actually kind of creepy looking. Oh, but that didn't last long. Okay, I guess this is technically legendary, but it's as if some fan game did a different design for Pipla. Oddly enough, I couldn't actually one-shot it. Okay, that, that was the easiest way up to Lance. Ground typing? Well, this has gotta be... Okay, this is a joke. I mean, Lulet is kind of cool, and I'm not too sure what fusion this is. Th that's not that's not even a custom sprite. Okay, I'll give it to you, Lance. This kind of seems like a regular Pokemon on its own. But no, what am I saying? You're pathetic, bro. What the hell did I just go through? Blue, you better at least put up something of a fight. Why do I always lead the wrong thing against blue. I'm sorry, Chandadoom. Now luckily Houndmi did some chip, but the real lucky thing is we nasty plotted on blue switch into Glystactyl. This lets us one-shot it after it went for a sword stance. That definitely could have been bad. And with that plus two in special attack, two serves can knock out Tyranrus. Thankfully that bright powder didn't make us miss. Well, back to the crappy Pokemon I see. Hydreo, I guess is okay? At least Mimikyu can actually do something for once. Unfortunately, his starter never got a custom sprite, but what can you do there? Chandler was able to energy ball it, finishing it off. And there was just one Pokemon to go, Luka Dash. Yeah, I don't even know what to say. This is the worst Elite Four I have ever encountered. I don't think I'm ever putting that randomization on Insane again. Well, get in here, tits. You beat my best? If that was your best, we need to seriously have a conversation. I don't even think any of them were scared of my Pokemon. They were all just playing dumb with me. I think the game finally felt bad for all the times I've lost runs in past videos. I don't even feel like saying, hey, I'll take it, because I won't. This is a mockery to all my beautiful spooky fusions. <laughs> but anyways, let me know which spooky slash scary slash creepy fusion you like the best in this video, or go ahead and comment one that I didn't show. I'm curious to look some of them up. I'd say my favorite is either Chandler or Chandadoom. The more I look at Chandler though, the more I just love it. Seriously, whoever made this knew what they were doing. 